If ChatGPT doesn't kill coding, then Neuralink will. If you don't know what Neuralink is, it's basically like Elon Musk's 24th baby. It's his way of putting a computer inside of your head. And if the FDA approves Neuralink, then human testing will begin in 2023. Neuralink isn't the only brain chip company. There are a ton. But what does this mean for you, a programmer? Well, firstly, you probably won't need to type anymore. As Elon Musk showed off, you can connect to any computer with your mind with any of these brain chips, and this allows you to eliminate typing entirely. But at least at first, I feel like typing will still remain a constant just because it'll literally be faster. That said, Neuralink will really help you when it comes to debugging code. It'll basically be like a little mini chat GPT inside of your head. There will literally be no need for Google. This could enhance programmers by 10 and cause mass layoffs. To be honest, I don't think all of programming will die, but we'll just need significantly less programmers. And because of that, the demand will be so much less, but the supply is still going up and up. If we look at the trend of college majors, we can only see CES being picked more and more often. This could lead to a lot of unemployment. But this is all speculation, if you get the brain chips. First of all, brain chips at first are going to be super expensive. Not to mention, we'll most definitely see some sort of public pushback to the brain chips. I mean, these things have a huge privacy concern. Forget keystrokes, everything you think will be sent to big tech. And if they can control your brain, can they control your thoughts and actions? I'm no neuroscientist, but this all seems a little bit freaky. Now, there are huge public figures like Mr. Beast and Elon Musk himself advocating for brain chips, but I don't know, it all seems a little bit fishy. But brain chips can also allow blind people to see and deaf people to hear. These are pretty amazing. Now, these aren't in the first version because Musk seems pretty obsessed with having monkeys play Pong, but they are in the plans. Speaking of monkeys, we can't ignore the animal cruelty claims. Neuralink's experiments since 2018 have resulted in the deaths of 1,500 animals, including monkeys, sheep, pigs, and even more. Investigations are going on right now, but the whole situation is just incredibly saddening. Now, to defend his product, Musk has said that once brain chips are ready, he will insert Neuralink inside of himself. This is comforting until you know that he's not actually going to do this until human trials are over. I know I'm not signing up for a human trial. Now, there is the argument that this is a huge stepping stone in terms of innovation, which it is. But even though this is a technological marvel, it has a few glaring moral dilemmas. It's almost like Metaverse, except Metaverse has no redeeming qualities. While the Neuralink will be implanted with surgery, Musk says that the whole process will be painless, and you'll be able to go about your day as if nothing happened afterward. Now, this does seem like a little bit of a fib, but this is what Musk says. He adds that the device can be removed safely, so it's not a binding contract. Now, there are companies like Synchron that have already got an FDA approval and have started clinical trials. Now, this concerns me because this whole thing is going so fast that I'm assuming that there are super rush deadlines. And because of these super rush deadlines, could safety be a measure that's being overlooked? The fact that we could get brain chips before GTA 6 just astonishes me. Despite everything, brain chips managed to be the most and least exciting technology at the same time. So, are you getting one?